No. No. Coming at you with a glass today. I read the comments. I've seen a number of you have been missing the like old school makeup dupes, hauls, that kind of thing. So that's what we're doing today. And of course, in a dupe video, we must split our face down the middle. I'm gonna do one side with the dupes and one side with high end. And we're gonna see how accurate they are and if they are actually a dupe. So if you like these kinds of videos and you wanna see more of them, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. That really helps me to understand like what kind of content you guys like best. But enough chip chat, let's get into some dupes. For that, we need to zoom, zoom you guys in. Whoa, wrong way. I both love these bows and also hate them a lot. So if you see me adjusting them throughout this video, I'm sorry in advance. But I'm not actually that sorry because they are annoying me. And if you're wondering why it's so dark in the studio today, it's because it's dark outside and I like to mix in natural light and that's not there. So we're gonna split my face down the middle. We're gonna do high end on this side and drugstore on this side. And we're just gonna see if everyone can tell the difference and hopefully not hurt my feelings too much saying that my eyeshadow is unblended on one side. So we're gonna start with mascara and we're gonna be trying to dupe one of my current favorite mascaras. And that is the Tower 28 Making Ways mascara. I am personally a huge fan of that mascara, especially if you want like a really dramatic lash. So let's put that on one side. I'm gonna up close mirror. I don't know what it is about me, but I try to like just blindly do my makeup. I'm just too lazy to grab a mirror for some reason. Not like I don't have mirrors. I have them. To use them, Rachel. All right, there's like one coat. Let's do another one, because why not? It gets a little extreme by three, so I'm gonna try to um, just make it the two. Oh, also, um, I have... <laughs> I'm running on a clock right now. So this should be interesting because I decided, no, 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 I will absolutely be done filming by the time I have to go to Pilates. And I say have to because I don't want to. Do it for my health, do it for being there for my children, do it for my back pain, but I have booked it and I am now committed to that booking. So now I have to be done in time to leave for that. I'm gonna be so glamorous for Polite. This is gonna be a real test for wearability too. So the dupe. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Length, Mega Length Mascara. I don't know why they write in big letters here Boost Length. That's not the name. Why would you do that? It's just confusing me. It is definitely a similar color packaging wise. I don't know if that was accidental or on purpose. So let's start with the wand. Let's be very technical about it. Not very similar though they are both sort of that plasticky kind of bristle, but that's basically where the similarities end. And I also love when they put like nine out of 10 people so length, but I want to know what that one person <laughs> has to say about it. Where like, no, did nothing. Like, did you actually hate the mascara or were you having a bad day? Did you measure your lashes? So far I like it in terms of just like a mascara. That's pretty. Let's do another coat and move my mirror over. So I stop turning to the side like that. Just giving you bombastic side eye. Hopefully that's still relevant by the time this video goes live. Okay, close up, comparison. What do we think? Honestly, they're giving very similar vibes to me. Just in terms of the, how it's gripping onto the lashes, the ends of the lashes and what they look like, the formulation, they feel very similar similar to me. That's kind of neat. I will let this dry and then I'm going to recurl because that's what I do with all of my mascaras. If you're new here, that's what I do because my lashes are stick straight and point down. Could I get a lash lift? Yes, I could. Am I too scared too? Also, yes. Also need to get a haircut so badly. Look how shiny my hair is though, guys. Wow, the random hair update. My hair is shinier, but in desperate need of a trim like these ends are not cute. But anyway, moving right along to the face. So this is one I have never tested. I've seen it online for a while now, but it's not one that I've put to the test. And it's another dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. They just are so desperate to, <laughs> to dupe this. The Flawless Filter. I got a little mini one because the one that I have, the, hold on, where are you? This one right here. I love this one because it adds a little bit of warmth to my skin, but because I'm comparing it to something that's sort of foundation-y-ish, I wanted to get a color that was like more similar to my shade. This is actually a really nice size for like a, a trial size or something like, like if you're testing it, like you can get a lot out of that. Ooh, before I do that, I want to put a little bit of primer on just across and under my eyes. I'm doing the same one on both sides because I want it to be fair. But I just want to put a little bit because again, I am going to Pilates and I feel like this is going to help. I hope let's do this. And again, this is like a very, to me, this is, I use this more, less as a foundation and more as like a, like a highlight because it's so dewy. And I'll use two different brushes. These are clean. Just washed them. I was going to use a sponge, but I feel like that's just going to like 
take all of this product off of my face. My personal favorite way to use this product is actually just using it like mixed in with foundation because I feel like that just gives like a beautiful level of coverage. Like you can, you see what I mean? Like this isn't coverage in so much that it's just like glowy. It's just a nice glow. Hi, just jumping in here because um, the footage that I filmed not on just one SD card, but two is corrupt for the following foundation. Then it's fine, it's fine after that. And then you can go back to the video. But I wanted to share with you guys the foundation that I put on the other side of my face and kind of share my experience that unfortunately was missed. I don't even want to talk about it, I'm so mad. At the dupe was apparently the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. So to give you a bit of an overview, I bought two different shades and I tried to, um, you know, just do the little clicky thing, click them up, and this thing separates a lot. And so goo was just oozing, like, can you see this? I don't know if it's gonna show up on the on the camera or not. Maybe if I pulled it right here, can you see this? You probably can't see that. Anyway, it's all, ugh, oh, it's getting everywhere. Can you see that? Just like this clear liquid. And I was like, what is happening? Now I'm seeing now it's sparkly. So I shook it and mixed it all up, tried again, and out of one of them, it just stayed clear. And then the other one, I did end up getting some of the um, pigment out and then applied it to my face. It was very runny, it was awful, didn't like it, was not a fan, which is disappointing because I love the Age Rewind by Maybelline, the, the concealer. And so that entire experience was just awful, attempting to put that on my face. So I'm sad that we all had to miss that, but it was not great. And um, now <laughs> back to the video. And I'm using the same for both. I'm trying out the Tarte one again. I hope that's not a spoiler, I don't know. I'm basically just using it for my under eyes and that's pretty much it. Keep with the whole dewy complexion. This guy might get something though. He has been on my last nerve. He showed up on vacation, family vacation, just like really out there. And my son is just like every day, 400 times a day. Oh, mommy boo boo. Oh, mommy boo boo. It's like, thanks. I'd like to forget that it's there. And naturally it happened at the same time as this guy. The next one I bought off spec. I have no idea if these are even close or comparable in shade, but I saw some like rumors that there was a shade out there that matched one of my favorite, if not my favorite, mm, one of my favorites for sure, top five blushes of all time. And that is the Patrick Ta one in She's That Girl. I have been talking for, about this for years. If you've been watching me for a long time and if you haven't, come join the fam. Make sure you subscribe. I have been loving on this thing for so ridiculously long. And I heard, I heard ColourPop had one called Birthday Suit that's very similar, but I haven't seen the shade at all. It's just, it's still in its package. So I remember seeing it and I'm like, yeah, that's pink, but I don't know now. So let's find out. Come out. Ow. Oh, this does not look similar. Oh, I feel like no internet. I feel like no. Like look at how different those are. Absolute fail. <laughs> <laughs> no internet. I wonder if I have one that's close though. This might be closer. Hang on, hang on. Oh, no. I would be super surprised if I did not have something that was like very similar though. Now we're going rogue. I am literally just going through what I have. <gasps> no, no. Okay, that's pretty dang close. <laughs> that's pretty close right there. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Who knew I had one in my drawer the whole time? Good for me. Well, maybe, maybe. Typically I'd start with a powder and then put the um, cream side on top for the Patrick Ta side because that's what his product is intended to do. But because the dupe is a cream, I kind of want to compare apples to apples. Look how like just magical that tone is. Stop, that's incredible. It's just one of my favorite blushes. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I do need to put on bronzer too. We'll get to that. So that is just the cream side of the She's That Girl. And the one that I had in my drawer that just randomly, I was like, that might be it, is NYX. This is their Wonder Stick in the shade. It's like, like a dual ended cream blush. And this is in light peach and baby pink. And um, this peachy shade is just like so close to it. So I'm just gonna put some on my finger and then put it on the other side. Well, this is weird. I'm like blending with my left hand. This feels weird. Have you ever tried to do that before? Just trying to blend with your like other hand? I need to like wipe off this finger and use this finger. I have wiped it off, it's it's clean. So if we're gonna find a dupe, we're gonna find dupe. Comparison time. What do we think? Are they a dupe? I feel like the Patrick side has a little bit more pink in it and because this is a dual ended stick, 
I'm not actually technically using another product. I'm using the same one, but I'm gonna mix the two of these and see if I can make that the blend. Okay, that feels a little bit more similar to me. So it feels a little bit more pinky. I'm trying not to like go overboard on the pink and then be like, oh, that's a different color entirely. That to me feels very similar. I'm curious what you guys think. We'll see what editing Rachel thinks. Cause sometimes I'll watch this back and in person I'm like, wow, that's a dupe. And then I'll look at it on the computer and be like, no. Okay, now I'm gonna put on a little bronzer before I do the powder because there's a Givenchy powder dupe that we, I wanna talk about. But I didn't have like a new bronzer that I was like really excited about in terms of like a dupe. But if you come across any dupes, can you let me know in the comments ones that you're like, I wanna know if this one works or not. Because then I can buy it and we can test it out and see if it's worth buying, you know? And I will link all of the products that I talk about down below. So if you see something and you're like, ooh, pretty, it's all down there for you. Also, I just realized I've been doing this for so long and I've been saying it so many times that I've just sort of like not said it anymore because again, we just we just know. But I figured it's worth saying again that all of the links that I put in the info bar are all affiliate links. So that just means when you buy it and you use that link, then I get a small percentage of whatever that sale is. So if you spend $20, I might get 50 cents. Something like that. These links are absolutely optional. You do not need to use them if you don't want to. If you do and you choose to support, I really appreciate it. But again, I've been saying this for so long and I've been doing this for so long that sometimes you forget there's new people here and may maybe you don't know. Okay. We got a little bronzer on, feeling a little bit more bronzy. Oh, how are we doing for time? Oh my goodness, we're running close. Okay, let's keep going. I have powder. Powder is the Givenchy one. This is their um, Prism Libre Matte Finish Enhanced Radiance. How can you have a, a matte finish enhanced radiance? Explain this to me. It's like a wet, dry powder. It is both powder and also not a powder. Oh, it's a fresh one. So it has all of these different color buckets so that when you go like this and you tap it out, you got a little bit a little bit of everything, just like a big mix of the colors. And then when you apply it, it's supposed to do like a light neutralization. So for example, it has red in here. Sorry, not red. <laughs> it's gonna really enhance those pimples. It has a green in here, which is going to, you know, subdue any redness you might have. And then it also has a purple and sort of a pale, like a white purple. I'm trying to think of what the color, pink? No, I don't know what's opposite purple. <gasps> Did I just apply this all over my face? Mm. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. <sighs> I got too distracted by the fact that I have to leave soon. It's okay, we can fix this. We can fix this. I'm gonna take off my concealer on this one side and then I'm gonna reapply it and then we're gonna apply the powder. Okay, everyone, we can do this. Ooh, okay, all right, hang on. I reapplied. It like fully took it off. Fortunately, it wasn't that much. Can you imagine if I did like a full face? Oh. Okay, we're going into an Amazon dupe. This is the Moira Set and Correct Loose Setting Powder. So it is similar. It only has the three shades and it has blue, green, and like a pink. Oh my gosh, don't move, Rachel. Oh my gosh, it took the whole thing off. Gosh, what's going on with my makeup today? Fortunately, it doesn't really matter that they mixed because, well, <laughs> They're gonna be mixed anyway. <coughs> Using the other side of my sponge here. So I mean, in terms of how it's setting, I mean, it's setting a very similar way, I wanna say, to the Givenchy one. I don't have a ton of, um, you know, product on my skin, but I am curious how this is gonna look at the end of the day. It's gonna look crepey or anything like that. And then before we go into hair tools, which we'll have to do after Pilates, I'll have to come back because there's no point in doing it now. First, we're gonna test a dupe for the Dior Lip Oil. This is the gl Lip Glow Oil. And this is like really, really popular. Everyone seems to love this. And I've seen a couple of different dupes and I kind of wanted to test them on my hand and then apply them. Cause like obviously the Dior one is just like a really nice like consistency, but it's, you know, it's gloss, oily gloss. So I just got these in from ColourPop. It's their Lux Lip Oils. So I thought those would be kind of a fun one to test because like that color looks very similar. No, that one is not pink enough. I have another one. This is cherry, so let's see. Mm, I feel like it's still not like, there's something about this particular Dior one that gives this like minor pinky tint and I'm just not getting it in these other ColourPop ones. What about this one? This is, Raspberry? None of these are giving the same effect. The other one I found was Milani's, their fruit fetish lip oil. Very similar applicator. Ooh, very strong scent. Okay, this one seems to be the closest in terms of undertone. It's gonna be so hard to tell. It's a little bit more pigmented than the Dior one is. Hoping you can see on the screen there. This is the Dior one. 
And then down here is Milani, and then you have a bunch of the ColourPop ones. It's like really hard to tell on camera, but I think that's that's definitely the closest one. So let's try it on the lips. The applicator is really nice, really subtle like in terms of color. And then this one. Do we see a difference? The only thing about this one is that it just, it's such an aggressive like fruit smell, which I don't personally love. And the Dior one I don't think has that. The Dior one smells kind of minty, which I like a lot better, but it's like such a subtle mint. Let's recurl these lashes. Ooh, all of a sudden I can see again. There's these like spiders over my eyeballs. Yeah, they look very similar to me. Okay, I'm gonna get changed for Pilates and we're gonna see who can tell which side is which. Okay, I found a B. B, this is my makeup. Tell me. Which side do you think is high-end versus drugstore? Can I ask you to step into the light oh, a little bit? Yes, okay. Because <laughs> I really I need all the help I can get. The eyeshadow is the same. The thing that's different is mascara, the foundation, powder, and lip and blush. Okay, and the, and the, and the eyebrows throwing me off. That's the only thing. And the eyebrows <laughs> are the same. Are they sisters though? <laughs> They're not twins, right? I'm going to guess that the high end side is your left. You're wrong. Okay, so we're wrong then. <laughs> You're incorrect. This is actually high end and this side is drunk. Good, right. good, good, good. Good, good, My first guess was the eyebrow, the other eyebrow. <laughs> the other eyebrow felt drugstore for you. No, no, no. Felt high end, but I was like, I don't trust myself, so that I went with the other one. But you know what? That's probably good because then it means, you know, no. you can fool anyone. <laughs> so it's like Charlotte Tilbury, the flawless filter on the one side. Okay. And Dior lip oil on the one side and like an expensive mascara versus like a wet and wild one. That's crazy, actually. It's pretty good, right? Yeah, that is really good. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Every time I think I get the hang of Pilates, it always gets so much harder. But I'm very proud of myself. I've been healing my, um, uh, diastasis, I think is what it's called. Basically your stomach muscles are separated and you just have to try and close them. It's very difficult. I feel very weak right now. Slow and steady like the turtle. But okay, hair. So the high end thing that we're gonna be trying to do is something that has been sold out for months. I don't even remember the last time this was in stock. And that is the Amica Blowout Babe. This is essentially a curling iron with sticks on it. People love this. People have been actually using this as a dupe for the Dyson, but I have a dupe that's even cheaper than that one. I have a dupe for the dupe. This is apparently going to give the blowout of our dreams. And maybe this, this is the time where I finally realized that I am just not, I don't look good in a blowout. I think I look good with my hair up. I think when it's down and like very straight and maybe cut a little bit more, but like blowout, I feel like I'm, I look like I'm from the 1800s. So let's, um, let's give this a whirl, shall we? Now I have applied a liberal amount of heat protectant. I'm using the Bumble and Bubble one, the, the heat shield. I really like this one. Makes my hair shiny. Is this ready? Who's to say? What people have been doing, actually before I use the front pieces, let's just do like a little chunk right here. People are saying, the people love the internet, are saying to turn it, tilt it down? No, that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. This may prove to be more difficult than I thought. People seem to be holding it and then, you know, doing a thing down like the, oh my gosh, my hair is so hot. Oh, so you do not want to do this for long. And then they're pulling down and twisting out. <laughs> exactly. This is, ex this is exactly what I expected. Why am I just awful at this. I don't understand. They take a small section like so. I'm gonna go like this and then they get some tension on it and then they roll it up and then they twist it out. <laughs> I honestly didn't think that this would be this difficult. I truly thought that I would be able to master this. It would not be that, that tricky for me to figure out. And then for the bangs, she just went like, Fork went like this and then just like whooshed it back. Okay, well, if I had curtain bangs, that would be awesome. I was gonna ask you guys if you think I would look good with bangs, but then I think everyone would be really concerned for my mental health. <laughs> this is what my hair did in like 2015, like the full across swoosh thing. <laughs> well, I am literally watching a tutorial right now. And then she twists it up and then she whips it around. I'm literally doing what you're doing. Did I turn it the wrong way? I'm like running out of sections to curl. She goes like this, like that, like this. Okay, and then she tips it up and then 
goes like this to twist it out of her hair. I'm so incredibly frustrated right now. Maybe the blowouts are just not for me. Maybe what I can use them for is for under my hair. Look at that, everyone. Wow, boom. Do you have flat straight hair that doesn't curl easily, but you just want it to like flip under very easily? Have I the tool for you? That's it, that's all I can do. Okay, well, I don't want to um, destroy my hair in testing this, but you can see it's got some, you know, it's got the little flip under that everyone seems to be doing right now. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm gonna compare it anyway, but you can all understand I'm going to continue to test this and figure it out. But now is not the time because hair health. Hair health is important. Now, the thing I don't like about this, obviously, is that you can't choose your heat setting at all. So I don't know if this one has it, but this one I got off of Amazon and it has like a bunch of different um, clip-in things. Oh my gosh, so much stuff here. So this is the base this guy. Like there's a bunch of different um, clip-in pieces that you can use, which I personally think is very helpful actually, having all of these different tools. Cause like this, this will curl my hair. This will not, but you just like clip it on. So it's like an all in one solution. This has two heat settings, one and two. So we're going to choose one. Go plug this in. Okay. Heating up. In terms of size, they are comparable, I would say. This one's obviously longer than the Amica one. Amica. I keep calling Amica. It's Amica. Amica. I'm really upset that my bangs aren't banging right now. You know when your front pieces aren't front piecing? That's where I'm at right now. No, I'm just gonna destroy my hair. No, thank you. Perhaps another day, that side of my head. Let's try this again, everyone. Again, in the name of testing, but not destroying the hair. Maybe this side, this side, this is gonna be the one, everyone. We're calling it, we're envisioning it. It's gonna be a beautiful blowout. How do people get the like, there you go. It's gonna say, I need like the, the nice grip on it. And then how do you, oh my gosh, how do people do this to their hair? You cannot tell me that that is healthier or easier than just using a curling iron. I just, I don't understand. But hey, at least this was more successful than the other side. Did I do something different? Can someone please explain? Let's do this guy. I'm just like, I feel like all I'm doing is just tangling my hair. Oh my gosh, that was awful. Never again. Nope, this is just not the, like, I mean, like, look, you can see what it does. That's so cute, so pretty. If I wasn't terrified of ruining and like just ripping out my hair, I would continue and I would like do this entire thing. I think everyone can understand. Given my history with my hair, um, that's just not, that's just not it right now. I am going to, however, do the fun little curl under thing. Wow, everyone, look at this. What, what a slay, perfection. Honestly, that's the quickest I've ever done like the curl under thing. Is it worth it? No, no, it's not. Well, this guy needs to be straightened then, I guess. Doesn't make much sense for him to be curled by himself. Well, I was really hoping to have like a bouncy blow up for you guys, but um, I can't today. <laughs> if you've tried either of these, let a girl know. Let me know in the, in the comments section. Give me some tips and tricks, please. I would say the biggest difference is the bristles. So you can see the bristles on the Amica one, kind of boar bristly versus the Amazon one, it's more of that like traditional rubber brush kind of thing. And I felt like this was pulling at my hair more, which I did not like. Whereas this one, I feel like I can get it out smoother, if that makes sense. This felt like I was catching on it more. However, I do like the fact that it has a bunch of different clip-in options, which is great if you don't have a lot of space and you wanna play with like a bunch of different options. Here, let me at least show you what they have. So they have the brush if you wanted to just do like a little curl under or maybe you're really good with a blow up, who's to say? They also have this one, which I find to be super fun. They have the tapered point one, which I did so much of this in, again, like 2015. 2015 was my era for this. And then a really tiny one for teeny curls. And then obviously the like, one inch barrel. So lots of options to choose from. And then in terms of how the makeup is going, cause like there isn't much to say about this, to be honest. I was gonna do like a full day wear test, but like it's basically the end of the day now. I just realized the part of my little mirror is out the bottom there. So sorry. So post Pilates, I would say that I am very impressed that both mascaras have held up very well. Blush is starting to fade, which kind of makes sense because I only used a cream. The powder, I would say it looks good on both sides. I did note that the um, Amazon one has talc in it. If that is an important ingredient for you to avoid, 
Heads up, I don't know about Givenchy if they have talc in it. But do you know what is actually my favorite product out of the entire thing that we've tested today? Mascara. I'm very excited about the mascara. I put it actually already into my everyday um, mascara drawer because I really like it. I like how it looks on my eyes. So that to me is the biggest win. I hope you guys enjoyed this interesting and chaotic makeup and hair video. Thank you for understanding my plight with my hair. And again, if you love a good makeup video, if you want to see more hauls and things like that, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, share it with friends and family. And that way I know that this is the kind of content that you guys want to see more of. But I do read all the comments and I appreciate them very much. So thank you. Subscribe if you haven't already. New videos here every single Thursday. That way you are notified when the video is live. Usually you can catch me in the comments in the first like couple hours for sure. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic day and I will see you guys all in the next one.